This video is optional. At this point, the buttons all work. Update, insert, delete. What this video is going to do is it's going to show the difference or a way to format the date entered data. So right now we see Thursday, February 2nd, 1984. I'm going to format this or show you a way to format this so that it shows a four-digit year followed by a two-digit month followed by a two-digit day space and then two-digit hour, two-digit minute, two-digit second. So go ahead, close this out. Go to your form one. At the bottom, after all of your methods that you've created, go ahead and write the following method. Public sub set custom data or custom date format. You can name it whatever you want, but that makes sense to me. Now, I got this from the MSDN website, so this is what they require. So I'm taking my date entered time picker, which is the name of the field I've defined in my form one. So if we come over here, scroll on up to the name, that's what it's called, date entered date time picker. Yes, you could call it something else, but I left it generic. Then what we do is we do a dot format equals and the same thing again, so we're going to do a date time picker formatter, and we're going to say it's going to be custom. On the next line, you're going to say the same object, or the name of your object, so mine is date enter date time picker, and we're going to say it's going to be a custom format, and it is equal to four digits of lowercase y, hyphen, if you don't put the hyphen in there, the hyphen won't show, so I'm telling it it's going to be 1994-03 day 26 or 01 and then we're going to do two digits for the hour so the space again this is a string formatting so a space two digits as in maybe 12 24 16 and then minutes and then seconds and those are all in two digits next what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way up to the top where your form is loading so we have our form one load event handler. Now I've commented it out, but I'm simply going to uncomment and place my command or my new method in here. I'm going to save it and then I'm going to rerun the form. And notice that my date entered is different. So anywhere I change this now, it will change. and it updates exactly as we want it. So that's how you change your date formatted. Thanks for watching the video series. Let's make one last change. So we're going to go Avery, say Avery's, click update. Update is successful. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and let's see who's got key card. I think resident has a key card. They have a key card. Let's go ahead. Whoops. Let's jump back into that close out our little window and let's go ahead and let's delete resident not sure why they don't have a state but let's go ahead and let's delete resident eight resident key cards have also been removed row is successfully deleted don't see it so if we close out the application and we start it again row eight should be gone or resident eight resident eight is gone and so we can also do insert if we say insert, it should have created a new copy now of Resident 7 with Riley. Or, yeah, Riley. So down at the bottom, we have Riley and a random number that's been generated. Again, thanks for watching.